everybody. Hello, finally. Welcome to my studio. Um, gosh, I have been promising a tour of my space for a really long time. Um, well, let's see. In two days, I will have been here, my apartment, for a year. And I think it probably took me about a month or so um, to just to really to get all of my art supplies settled in my space. Um, I pretty much have the same setup, uh, things organized the same as I did at the house when I was at the house. Um, and so it was kind of just uh, moving it from one space to my new space. So the basics are the same. If you do want to see um, how I had it set up when I was living in a house and not in an apartment, um, I will share the link to that video below. I'm pretty sure I have a video tour of my space in there. The crazy thing is, is that I actually have more space here in my apartment in my bedroom than I did in the formal dining room of our house. Um, granted, most of my room is my studio, but that's okay. Um, that's what is important. And as far as I was concerned, as long as I had a bed to sleep on, I, it just didn't matter. Um, so I am very, very blessed and thankful to have such a large space for, um, that I'm able to use as, as my studio. So the only thing is, is that it is my room. And so, um, I, well, I guess it's probably good. I try to keep my bed made <laughs> because I don't work well um, when I can feel clutter behind me. Um, so if I'm needing to work on things and get productive no matter what it is, even if it's just, you know, sitting down and doing home stuff, um, I have to have my bed made behind me. So that's kind of my, has been my trigger to kind of switch my brain over into, okay, it's going from bedtime mode now to creative or business or home office um, mode, something like that. Um, but anyways, this is it. So I will go through all the spaces and um, we'll root around in my drawers. We will root around in my art drawers and um, open the cabinets and I'll show you inside everything. And if you have any questions, uh, please um, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Um, I will try to tell you where I got things. Um, if it's something, I don't know. I don't know if I really have anything different. I am um, use what I have. I've always used what I had um, and only bought if I really, really, really had to. So. Um, a lot of my stuff I've had for years and years and years and years and years um, that I used when I started scrapbooking forever ago. Um, so as I've kind of changed more into art journaling and mixed media, I um, went from storing scrapbook supplies in it to what I'm using now. So um, yeah, I will, well, let's get busy because there's a lot to share. Um, let's go. Okay, so I will do my best to keep this as non-wiggly as possible, um, but the sun's coming in, so hopefully it won't uh, affect the video too badly as far as the sunlight coming in and it causing the screen to flash out. So if it does, I apologize for that. It's um, about 8 o'clock here in Omaha, and the nice hot evening sun is coming through my window, um, so um, I keep my shades open all the time uh, so we have sunshine um, anyways here's my door and this is my bedroom like I said it's huge it's my bed and I just got a full size since it's just for me and that's all I needed because I wanted to be sure that I could focus all of my space um, for this so let's see, that is where I do all of my work, 
and everything is stored in there and around there as well as this um, Hutch Buffet so I used to have my china in this um, at the house and at first I thought there was no way that I would have any space for it here um, in my apartment and then as I kind of started thinking about things and how I was going to store things here in my room I thought you know what this would be maybe this would work and I know that I needed to make sure that I, I was committed to that because it is extremely heavy and carrying up the stairs is no fun um, has glass shelves in it and it's just it's a beast but after I realized and measured things that it would fit perfectly in this space then I thought you know what I have to do it so um, I have a lot of things stored in there and then I also have things stored here on this side of my closet so yeah got a lot of stuff um, this area is still kind of it's organized chaos so that's all I'll say about that but we'll visit that in a little bit um, let's see well I guess we'll start with the buffet it does light up I have in the top half pretty much all of my different kinds of paints. I have inks. I have my favorite, hello. I have my favorite um, FWs, golden fluids. Um, let's see, just all sorts of different um, products using for paint and mixed media. Soft gel, the gold is my, oops, sorry, Groot. Uh, you know, gold mica flake, just all sorts of different things like that. My glass bead gel. Um, then over here, I kind of have an addiction to these size notebooks. So these are actually from a um, U.S. based company called Log and Jotter, and um, I get whoops, I get one a month. Um, and they have different covers, and I get mine with dot grid paper. Um, you can get it with plain paper, but I have been treasuring these, and I will say it, collecting these for years now. So this is all one of my products projects, is to try to figure out what in the heck to do with all these. So, because each month I get a new one, um, and I know I could just, like, stop the subscription, but I don't want to do that because I like them, so... That's what these are. They're all field notes and lock and jotters. And then just different notebooks that I have. Some of them I've started in, some of them I haven't. I've got a lot of uh, moleskin. Um, there's some moleskin in there. There's Midori size notebooks. Um, just kind of things like that. Lots of little, little journals and books and whatnots. These are actually ones that um, I have started working in and I didn't have any space for them over on my desk, so I wanted to make sure that I at least kind of had them out instead of having them in my closet. They were in my closet, so I took them out um, so that hopefully I can um, work on them if, if uh, well, just to work in them. So that's what those are. Up here are paints. They are divided by colors. Um, whites and grays, browns, blacks, pinks and purples, blue. Oh, I should open these beforehand. Green, reds, oranges, um, yellows. And so it's basically just all of my goldens. There's Liquitex, just all the paint. And I, you'll notice that pretty much everything that I have, I organize by color. Um, kind of by type but mainly by color because that is just what works best for me and how my brain thinks um, whenever I am knowing that I'm gonna need a project a product or an embellishment or something I don't necessarily think um, oh I you know I want I want to put um, like oh like a piece of ribbon on it I don't think well I want to put a piece of ribbon I think well I want to put something red and so then I'll go in my 
embellishment drawer that just has a lot of red stuff in it and I'll pick out something red. So that is why how I, I have things organized. So that's the top half. These are all finished journals. And then just knickknacky stuff. And over here, I have words that I have organized. They are just cut out from different magazines. Um, I've just organized them by categories that were, it just helped me to find what I needed faster. I need to kind of go through these and maybe try to organize them a little bit differently. Um, but for now, that is how they all are, but just anything that you can think of clipped out. Um, I, I think I will change some of these just because some of these I don't, I just don't, I don't need anymore. I don't use them anymore. So the, they don't, they don't apply to, to me and my life and I need, I just need to change those categories. So drawers, these are markers and paints, um, color pencils, um, intense watercolor pencils, my um, watercolor markers, paint pens, things like that. Over here, uh, washi starts. These are full of buttons, so they're all organized by color. Of course, extra scissors because you can't have too many pairs of scissors. My hammer. Um, washi tape, all organized by color. Um, down below, I've got, oh goodness, there's just kind of like some tools on this side. I've got my Big Shot, my die cut machine. Um, I've got like extra art supplies that my kids use. Um, notepads, tapes. Um, let's see, glue guns, colored pencils. A lot. Once again, I have. There's quite a bit of stuff in here that the kids use. So, colored pencils for the kids. I think there's probably crayons over on the other side. This is full of things that. Um, I am collecting just to use to make junk journals. This is just images that I have pulled out of magazines that need to be sorted. And oh my goodness gracious, these are all magazines that I can go through to get images, um, words, whatever. So I do need to go through those and do a purge because that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I have enough magazines, images, words to last for several lifetimes. Um, but I've got like a bunch of National Geographic's under there and things like that. So that's what's in here. Do you have an old manual typewriter that I picked up at um, at a flea market? And then in my bookshelf. A lot of these are craft books, art books. Down here though, on the bottom, I have books that, um, so here and here and here, these are all books that I have um, for collage that I get um, images for, for my collage work. A lot of books I get at our half price bookstore, like this book, I paid $3 for it and it is, it's a $50 book if you bought it brand new. So um, I get, I would say a majority of these books are from, oops, I don't know if I can get that back in because it is really heavy. Um, um, so yeah, a majority of the books that I use, I do get from half price, half price bookstore, used bookstores, um, the Goodwill, places like that. So uh, I do have a couple of really old um, clothing catalogs, one Sears and one is Wards, I think. Um, more books, these are not collage. <laughs> 
they're just kind of stuck there because I don't have space for them up there. Um, but all of these are just books for me to get um, things for collage. I kind of have them organized as far as all the gardening stuff, all the floral stuff is pretty much grouped all together here. I have some children's type books. Um, basically all these is where I'd get text and things like that. So um, I have a lot of books with Mary um, and then just outdoors type books. So that is that. And let's see. Um, over here I have several iris cards and I have all of my uh, collage um, images and things like that are sorted in here. Ephemera is sorted in here. I have vintage ephemera. Um, they are, this is made up of several different iris carts. You are able to pop them apart and restack um, if you have the same brand, the same, this exact same the exact same ones, you can pop them apart and stack them on top of each other. You can take this top part off. And so that is what I've done, done here. This is two and maybe two and a half iris carts stacked up on top of each other. This one is actually two separate ones. You can tell where they're different right here. Um, but that helps a lot and they're, they're secure because I have them kind of wedged in here between the wall and um, the countertop um, but yeah so I just have let's see ephemera I have vintage ephemera vintage images vintage paper um, floral uh, modern type stuff just regular images book text tags I always keep the tags off of clothing if they're they're fun. So this is all tags. I have tags from tea bags, um, envelopes. Uh, these are pieces of deli paper that I have used uh, from during while making mixed media projects, and they have paint and whatnot on them. Those are fun to reuse in projects. Um, I have these chipboard tools that I've totally forgot that I had in here, so that's kind of fun. Might need to figure out something to do with those. Uh, let's see, stencils. These are all just plastic stencils and things that I use to stencil. And then I have all my die cuts down here at the bottom. On this side, I have some specialty paper. There's, uh, there's some tissue paper, some mulberry paper, vellum, backgrounds. These are all images that would just kind of work good neat as a background um, on a piece of collage. So now we're all into, all of this is what I use for my collage work. Um, I have animals and insects, indoors and outdoors, bling, which is all jewelry, um, bling and objects, so just things. Bling and things. Flowers, I have people. Um, this says faces on it. I did kind of have them divided up, but pretty much this is just people. This is abandoned collage. It's, um, if you don't follow Dee Dee Willingham, you should. She is amazing, and she creates the most spectacular worlds um, in doing a technique called reverse collage, where you build onto the images that are already in the book. And she um, just, she just, it's amazing. I just can't even, <laughs> I can't even. When I watch it, I'm in awe. I have done one page um, doing that technique and I had a blast um, and I would like to do more. So that's, that is um, what these are for. Uh, this is wellness, so just healthy stuff, faith, um, me, I had this. I need to change this. Or I need to start using this. But it was ones that definitely for sure I knew um, kind of would work for, um, well, just pages about me and um, about my life and just where I was going and what I wanted to do. Um, this says Bella Large, and that's for Bella Grace. So these are all from Bella Grace magazine. Um, they're large. 
so they're not the small images. So I have Bella Large and Bella Small. So these are just all the smaller pictures from Bella Grace. Uh, let's see, I have some zines up here. This is um, Art Journal Emporium. It's Tangie Baxter. I used to get um, one of her kits, and it's these are the bits and pieces of the collage sheets that she put out with um, her monthly subscription that she had. I honestly, I can't tell you if she still offers that. I know that she still has um, a web page and has all sorts of amazing things that she offers. Um, but this is just the bits of leftover pages that I had cut up for projects. And I loved all of them so much that I just started keeping them in a drawer because I couldn't even just throw the little parts away. And then this, oh goodness, let's see, oh, that isn't that, because I just moved these around. This is just paper, printer paper. I've got my little um, photo printer up here. This is my travel, my travel bag for whenever I do art on the go, and then just some bigger stencils. Stencils, so that's what's all over here. Normally, I do have, um, there's a small black wrought iron uh, patio table that I have right here and I have my printer sitting on it um, but for doing this I moved it out of the way so that I wouldn't have to move it while doing all this but I do have a printer sitting right there usually um, let's see so then as far as my main working area this is a countertop from a home improvement store and it is actually loose on top of here it is just sitting on top of these two cabinet bottoms and these were all bought from the hardware store at the same time I think I think we spent about two hundred and fifty dollars or so I'm not sure I don't remember I've been using this for years and I love it. it is working perfectly for me and the nice thing about it since it isn't connected when I did move, it was easy to move. Um, I didn't have to take, nothing had to be taken apart. I just lifted off the top and we got the bottoms and, and that was it. Um, so, and the other nice thing is that when I was at the house, there were a couple times where I did move my space. Um, I had it under the window for a while in the dining room and then I realized that the sun coming in was giving me bad headaches and so I had to move it again. So. And that since having it mobile was wonderful so I was able to kind of scoot this around as needed. Um, I do have to be careful sometimes because if I'm moving things around I can pull this forward and it will of course make all of this move. Um, but that that is really the only the only down downsides to having it like this. The other thing is that never got around to putting um, handles in it so I do have some tape here that I use to pull this open and whenever I open these drawers I just have gotten in the habit I don't even think about it I just open it on the side with my fingers oh, let's see so up here oh gosh this is all junk journal stuff it's all just wrappers and bits and pieces um, I've got so much crazy stuff in here I just don't even know I need to go through it um, because it, it, it's a beast. Um, more junk journal stuff. A lot of this is just kind of like tissue bits and bits of paper and whatnot. These are, um, current journals that I can be working on, that I want to work on. I got them out. I did have them in the closet on the shelf and I decided that, um, the best thing for me to do would be to have them out. Um, so they're right here, they're right beside me all the time. If I feel like I want to work on something, I've got several things that I can choose from. Um, I know I just looked today and this journal is almost full. It only has five pages left and it's done. Um, this one is really close to being done. So I have some that I would really, really like to go ahead and get finished finished up. Um, I have a new junk journal that I'm getting ready to start in because I have finished the other one. Um, I 
pulled this one out just because I need to try to start doing some things to work being creative back in my everyday and even if I just glue a word down glue a picture down it doesn't have to have any meaning it doesn't just something just something to try to help get my creativity going again to where I want to create every day that is my big focus and so I have not moved any paint around for months and months and months and months and I found this journal and it's just pretty much where I was just messing around with paint and so I would like to start doing that again just to just to start just to start doing something um, so I got those I am gonna start putting just something in one of these every day. These are more than what I will be doing. <laughs> I, I just want to keep it simple and I just want to just something, just something, something, something to do to create. So that's what all this is. This kind of has little bits and pieces of who knows what things that I will can use um, on my junk journal. So I've got that. Um, these are just regular books. I have some cookbooks and whatnot in there. Um, let's see, in this drawer, this side is pretty much tools. Scissors, glue sticks, um, I have some book binding stuff, adhesive, some alphabets, um, with stamp pads, just some, um, you know, little sponge tools, my rotary cutter, I have um, exacto knives in there. Let's see, what's back in the back? The sticky notes, um, more scissors. I always, whenever I do splatters, I just put the paint in one of these cups and add some water and use that to splatter. So pretty much tools on this side. Underneath here, I have more iris carts and, and these um, cabinets do have a shelf in the very back, in, in the back that comes halfway out, um, just like a regular old, you know, cabinet shelf in the back. And my ex-husband did have to cut out part of the shelf so that these um, were able to fit in enough so that the doors would shut. So that was the only adjustment that we had to make um, just to get this to work. Um, I don't know if I can pull one of these out easily enough to show you. Looks like I've got little, I've just got stuff stashed anywhere. I don't want to do that because I'm afraid I'll make a big mess. Um, but there's pretty much just like a gouge that he cut out like that out of the shelf so that these would fit. Um, this is all paper pattern, pretty much pattern paper. There is some solids in there, but all organized by colors, just scrap of paper, just organized by colors. Over here, these are embellishments, like stickers, um, I've got just anything you can think of embellishment wise, um, some just cards, all of them organized by color. And on the other side, I have more just products. So one side is tools, one side's products. I've got um, paints, uh, distress stains. These are um, Doc Martin liquid watercolors, alcohol inks. Um, Lottos, Radiant Pearls, um, stuff that I don't even think they make anymore. I'm pretty sure that they don't make any of this stuff anymore. I've had this stuff forever. So it's on my list of, yeah, things that we need to use in projects. Um, Pearlex. Um, I have watercolors here. And Let's see, there's some markers, pens, oh, some tape, more ink pads, just random pens, pens, uh, lead, clips. Hey, I was needing some of those. I forgot I had this. 
I forgot I had those in there. Um, things like that are over here. And then on this side, underneath, are more embellishments. All of it's organized by color. You know, this one might come out easier. Here we go. Okay. So, if you can see here in the back, you can see where it has been, the shelf has been cut. So, it actually goes all the way to the other side so that there is space. Oops, sorry. So that there is space um, for these to fit, to fit in here and be pushed back. So, that was the only thing that we had to do to, to get these to work. So. They just fit in perfectly. I've got a little space in between where I tuck things if I need. Um, so yeah, more embellishments. This is pretty much ribbons, um, glitter. Uh, I think I've got like brads and eyelets and more whatnots, rhinestones, you name it. Still just all all organized by color and these are things that I have been gathering and collecting forever. Um, chipboard, um, yep, so metallic. These are letter stickers, all uh, letter stickers, and more letter stickers. So let's see, on this side laptop this is I don't keep it here when I work because um, I don't I don't watch anything I don't watch any TV or anything like that whenever I work um, if I did if I wanted to watch a movie that would be probably where that would go but I do sit here and and work I have a bar stool that I have here that I sit at when I'm working on the computer when I'm creating I stand I I just always stand um, I don't I do not sit when I do any of my art, um, I stand to work. It's just what I'm used to. It's what I'm most comfortable doing. Um, I like being able to move around. And um, so I don't have the chair over here whenever I'm working. But if I'm at my laptop, laptops, um, that's where it sits. Uh, let's see. Just some little tools. I have some paper clips and thumbtacks and things like that there. These I've got that I have that I'm collecting song lyrics and quotes because I love to use song lyrics um, in on my journal pages. So it's just where I keep um, a note of all of those. This is the board that I broke. Oh gosh, it's been a little while. Um, Taekwondo, I got to break that at parents night one night. Um, that has a lot a lot of significance to it and so I like to keep I like to keep that where I can see it. Um, I have a lamp, extra lamp to go over my work if I need it. And then this is all tools and all painting tools. Brayer, um, just paint brushes and palette knives and more scissors and pliers and um, hole punches and mini needles apparently and crochet hooks um, lots of different kinds of pencils and my love my stabilos that I love paint brushes things like that over here I've got big um, watercolor paper these are actually canvases um, I've got my craft the cutting mat because whenever I I use that sometime to cut paper or to cut fabric, so that's a fabric cutting mat. This is just a work area. Um, my daughter had it to, um, she was using it for an art class to tape watercolor paper to, to size um, watercolor paper. So I just kind of have that there. More rulers. And then the closet. So this side I've got all my clothes. Over here, I have a bookshelf that is sitting in front. Basically, there's another one of these uh, to hang your clothes, but I have, you can see, you can see it there. So I have a bookshelf sitting in front of it. Um, and then there is a shelf here. That's part of the closet. I took out, I took the, um, the hanger pulls out on the top and bottom. 
and then I just this is actually one of those shelving units that holds the basket it was one of my children's and they weren't using it anymore and I thought you know what that would work perfect and then I have another smaller white bookshelf right there so this is like I said a little bit of organized chaos but right now it's working and it's pretty much stuff that I don't use a lot but it's still part of my stuff so up top is all recycled paper that I'm going to be using to make journals um, and things like that that is a big huge project that I need to get started on but it's all recycled paper I've got my sewing machine sewing box and thread and my serger I've got stamps everywhere these up here are all rubber stamps I um, used to I was a you know I sold stamping up way way many many moons ago there's so many sets up there and they're so old I wasn't using them very much at all and then I decided to go ahead and divide the sets up by um, topic and that helped me out a lot so that's what those all are they're like I have backgrounds together and I have nature together um, shapes um, mail and writing so I, I organized them by category insects floral on the other side there's different I have it by holiday um, just things like that uh, collage elements more floral but so there's kind of stamps all around stamps all around um, Copics I know there's more markers in there magazines this is my basically what I use to package all of my Etsy orders it's all together right there different papers I've got well in letter stamps I have Joss paper together um, printed napkins tissue papers there's some beads in there I was looking for those too my daughter was asking about those um, down at the bottom I've got some scrapbook paper that's divided up by color um, smaller scrapbook paper more magazines up here more paper <laughs> projects to work on books um, for found word just to clip words from journals 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 books that can be used to for journaling um, or that I have am in the process of using to journal like um, things just things like this like this was started and I was journaling in it um, so some of these are ones that I was actually working in um, gosh yeah all of those are either in progress or could be turned into a journal down here is Etsy stuff um, and then at the bottom I have my pine cones and bark that I've been saving for the nature projects that I work on Whew, so that is the closet um, over this is just more stuff, more projects. I have so many things and ideas um, for videos and projects that I want to share. And that's a lot of those things that I've collected um, just to have them in one place to um, get things figured out so that I can start sharing all of those. Let's see, iris cart time. Uh, I have three carts. This top one has a hanging file folder in it and it has all of the Tangy Baxter pages that I was talking about that I have the pieces for over there this is the the full size pages from what I used to get sent and they're organized once again by color so some of them were kind of hard to to figure out and choose where to go but whenever I looked at it and whatever the main color was that stuck out in my to me um, that is how I just divided it up because some obviously just have every color on them but that's what all of these are I do have some right brain planner pages um, from Teresa Stargardner um, I have all of her printouts here also um, just some images that I had been saving these have been here forever 
I need to go through those too. So much that I'm looking at now, it's since things have changed for me so much, a lot of it I just don't know if I'll use because I feel like I'm not, sometimes like I'm not even the same person since so much has happened and I look at a lot of these things and it's like, well, I don't think I, I some of that just doesn't serve, serve me anymore. And so I need to go through bit by bit and take take those things out to make room for for the new. Um, let's see, just tools that I use a lot, scissors and my glue stick, my, my tweezers that I love, I use these all the time, tape runners, these are my colored pens for um, color coding my calendar, I do color code on my calendars, it just, I just, well, I need to, it helps me to color code it. Um, cutters, paper, paper trimmers. This stuff here is all collage. Um, I have some things here that I was definitely getting ready to put down in a journal somehow, but this is just a whole big box full of clipped out words and phrases just to sit and go through to um, put found word journaling together. And then on these, I have this one and this down here, and they are just full of just random images of every type um, just for me to hopefully sit through and just kind of do that daily. I'm going to grab a, an image and I'm going to grab a word and I'm going to stick it in a journal. Um, so that's kind of where I'm going to be looking for those things. Also, um, I'd like to try to put some more images back into my daily um, just planning pages, so that's probably where I would find them. Um, but yeah, more images. So that's what's there. Down on the bottom, it's all planning related things. I have my Delphonics bag um, that I've got planner stuff in, and then all planning type stickers. I've got notepads, I've got um, Project Life cards, more stickies, things like that are all down down here at the bottom. And um, this cart, this cart is all painting, painting type supplies. This cart is all collage type. So let's get this bad boy pulled out. Waste of time. I do have a plastic mat plastic desk mat um, that goes underneath, it's underneath my rug right here, it's underneath my rug and then it goes under, um, I have it turned around so this is the part that normally would go under your desk. I have it so that the wide part goes all the way back to the wall and that is to protect the carpet in my apartment um, from the wheels because these are so heavy um, but let's see I've got my heat gun deli paper my palette just towels and baby wipes acrylic inks Podpage, um, decoupage jelly gel pins more pinks these are the ones that I use the most because I love my neon pink paint. I've got tacky glue, more acrylic paints. I've got all sorts of sprays. Some of these, once again, are ancient. I've probably had some of these since I started art journaling. Like, just some of these are probably, well, Elliot, my youngest, I started art journaling right before he was born, maybe right, actually I started right after he was born, and he is 10. He's 10, almost 10 and a half. So I'm sure that some of these, actually I know that some of these are 10 and a half years old. So I really should go through and look at some of them because they could be dried up for all I know. That one's not, it's still shaking. Um, let's see down here. Just more supplies. I have gelatos and chalk pastels, and um, this is a, just a big palette, watercolor palette, 
pastel markers. I have oil pastels and neon uh, neon twos. Neo color neons. Neo color twos. Um, more past oil pastels. More chalk pastels. Watercolors. Ink tents down here. I think those are more oil pastels. Oh goodness. More watercolors. 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 And watercolors. So that is all of that. I'm not going to try to put that back right now because I need two hands to do it. Let's see. So then the other side, that is very wobbly. The other side is all collage type things, junk journal, things like that. So this is another bit of organized chaos here. I just have little scraps of paper. Um, a lot of this is fabric scraps and just little floral bits and pieces and used tea bags. Um, these are all kind of like postcards, paper tape, fabric tape, uh, stickers, die cuts. Well, some of these are actually in tubs so that when um, I do grab, if I'm going to go somewhere to work and I want to take a travel kit, these are actually already divided up and sorted so that I can just grab these and go. So I know, I know that this has um, some different tissue papers and it has some um, tea bags in it and just things like that. I know that this has just all sorts of small images and um, die cuts and, and, and whatnot. So I can grab those and go. Um, fabric, masking tapes, just different sorts of papers, um, and more printed napkins. These are all word stickers and some just letters. I've got another tin of just die cuts. This is full of clipped out words and phrases, book text, so it's all small book text. And then these are books that I have clipped that I can clip things from. More fabric bits and whatnot, some basket, magazines. <laughs> um, a lot of these are uh, flow. I have flow in here. I have um, mindful magazine and um, like the br breeze and just kind of the more chill type magazines that I know have really, really cool images in it. Um, a lot of these are ones that work great for uh, getting ads. I'm sure that doesn't have my address there. So like our grocery store one, it always has good words that would work um, just for just for finding, finding words for collage. So that's what a lot of those are. Once again, I need to kind of go through and purge because I had just started collecting things and I have more than my share. So I know that I can get rid of things. But now, as I was getting settled, I was still just kind of collecting stuff. I didn't have everything exactly where I wanted it and put away. So... I didn't really realize how much I had gathered. Um, I don't know if I can do that. I'm not going to mess with it because I'm going to break something. <laughs> um, so yes, I think quickly, as quickly as I could, this is my space. I do have a big huge bulletin board up there. Um, I put it up there, not necessarily to hang things on, I put it up there more so to protect my wall from paint because when I do um, work and I do when I am painting and I'm doing my mixed media I do like using splatters and things like that and paint splatters get on everything so um, 
I knew I was just really concerned about it. getting on the wall. You can see there's splatters all along here. So that is why I put, put that there is to hopefully keep me from getting my wall out dirty. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, this looks outside. This is my little red table where I love to sit in the morning and have my coffee. Um, if you saw the video, that, the most recent video that I did with Darren, that's where I was sitting at my little red table. Um, as far as the lights, these are curtain, curtain lights that I did get from Amazon. I absolutely love them. They make my room, especially now that it's getting dark, they make my room magical and that just makes me really happy. Um, so I did get those on Amazon and then I got the curtains on Amazon also just these lace curtains in the winter I do have um, thermal curtains up because it gets so 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 cold here um, in Nebraska anyways and these windows just aren't the best so I do have super thick heavy light blocking thermal curtains up in the winter but in the summer I keep the windows open as much as I can as far as open like over here and um but I, and I keep the shades open all the time because I just love having the sunshine come in and I love my view I love my trees um let's see I did get these really pretty tie backs not too long ago they're magnetic so that's kind of fun so they just clip on um but it was made uh, just a huge just those two things, just those things just completely made everything different in here. Um, but yeah, that's my space. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that it gave you some ideas or I'm not sure. I know I was talking quickly, but I did not want this to be too terribly long. Um, I knew I had a lot of ground to cover. Okay, so that is my space. This is my is my space um thanks for coming here and thanks for visiting me here and i hope that you come back and visit me often because i will be sharing again and a whole lot more i have so much to share um so much has been going on um i am excited to be sharing again so um I'm ready and now that I have my space cleaned up I spent all the past two days um, I kind of moved a few things around and I'm really glad that I did um, so I think well I don't think I know I know that it's time for me to get to get busy again and to sh start sharing all of the things that are in my head that I want to come out and be made um, if you have any questions, please be sure to ask them in the comments below. Um, I will post a link to the um, other studio tour that I have that was at the house. Um, like I said, it's basically the same setup. Um, it's just in a different, and it's actually in a smaller space. Um, the only thing different is that I don't have the buffet in there. And somehow I managed to actually have all of that stuff I don't know how I did it, but I did it. So um, be sure to watch that if you'd like. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, gonna have a whole lot of mixed media and collage going on and just all sorts of projects and exciting things. Getting ready to get rolling. Um, thanks again. I truly am so appreciative for all of your support um it's been a crazy year um and it's i i know that i would not have been able to keep going or want to keep going um if it hadn't been for you all and supporting me as much as you have so thank you from the bottom of my heart of every inch of my being i'm grateful to each and every one of you so um with that have a fantastic day, night, wherever you are. Um, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about nine o'clock.
tonight in the evening. Um, so I will be seeing you again really, really, really soon. Take care, creative blessings, and I love you all, and goodbye.